So the first thing I'm going to do is add, install the new recovery application. So I'm turning my phone off so that I can get into recovery mode. Uh, not recovery mode, into fast boot mode. You need to be in fast boot mode to install the recovery, which this is the ROM racer or whatever the heck they call it. I'll put the link in the video in the description there how, where to download some of these things. So once the phone is powered off completely, you have to hold the down volume button and the power button. Then once it once it comes on, you let go of the power button, but you unlet yeah, you keep the that down button on. Then you so once fast boot selected, you press up on the volume control. Then it'll stay there. It doesn't really show much. I just say that it's starting the fast boot protocol, and that's that's all you'll ever get. Now everything you do is on the computer. You need to make sure the the phone is plugged into the computer, and then when you run the commands off the computer, it will run the commands onto the phone. So here I'm gonna plug the USB cable back in. Any second now. There he is. Okay. And here we'll be able to see what is going on on the computer. It's going to, you know, the first time you do it, it's going to install drivers for the device. You'll you'll have to install the Motorola driver pack to get this to work properly. So right now I'm switching to the directory to where my fast boot or moto fast boot is. I don't really know what the difference is between fast boot and moto fast boot, but I've tried both. So now here it's in some of the drivers. Then once that's installed, then you can run the run the fast boot command. They're ready to use. And what you're going to be doing with the fast boot is you're going to Erase recovery. So you run moto fast boot erase recovery. That erases the current recovery partition, which would either be the default recovery or you know if you installed a previous version of Clockwork Mod or something. Oh, I had a typo. Okay, and then it'll tell you that it's you know, run the command. Now you do the exact same thing, but you just say you you're installing the recovery. This is an image file. Then you can reboot the phone from here. Just moto fast boot space restart or reboot. I can't tell. Restart. And it'll boot up like normal. At this point, nothing's really changed as far as the usability of the computer or the phone. It's just when you go into the recovery partition, you'll have the the new recovery partition, recovery software that you installed. So now we're just waiting for the phone to boot back up. At that point, once the phone's booted back up, you'll need to install your or copy your zip file over to the either the internal or the external memory on the Motorola Atrix you can use either one with this version of the ROM Racer Clockwork mod that, that they have provided. Oh, by the way this is already using the this aftermarket ROM or whatever you want to call it. This is RO version 1.1. I'm going to be installing an updated version of that. Alright, so now the phone's back up. I'm disconnecting it. I'm going to turn it off. I already have the zip file on the, on the external SD card. Okay, so now you hold down volume and power, same as before, but when it menu comes up, you don't just press up. 
you will press down until you get to the Android recovery. Press up, and it'll start recovery mode, and the clockwork mod will come up. Let me see, now you're in the recovery. And it's menu options where you select up and down with the volume controls, and then you press the power button to select. So you're going to choose SD, pick your external SD card, find your zip file, and then it'll ask, are you sure? And you've got to go find the yes, I'm sure. And that's all there is to it. You wait for a while. It takes you know, quite a while, depending on how the size of the, the ROM. So just be patient. You know, I usually, I usually just don't pay attention to it because if you watch it it seems like it'll take forever and you know this is the version of the ROM that that already wipes the drive or wipes the partition so you don't have to manually wipe wipe the data and the cache you just let the let the ROM flashing do it itself but depending on which ROM you're flashing some of them will say to manually run that which those are options in the within this recovery partition so it'll, it'll tell you what it's doing as it's doing it right now it's still formatting when it starts copying files you'll see that and once it starts installing the stuff you'll see that there it goes I'm actually yeah, installing it. Essentially, the, all, all the, the this is is a, it's an image. So it's like you know, installing when you're installing somebody a ROM like this, you're just installing somebody else's captured ROMs. Like they installed everything they wanted to do, did all the configuration, went into Clockwork Mod, and they did a did a backup essentially, and then they zipped it up. So then when you're doing this, it's installing it's got a just bunch of scripts that it runs and you know copies files to different places and that's how it works I think Okay, you can go faster now. Okay, now it's done. You can say, you know, you, now you pick go back to previous menu, then you can pick reboot phone. Or restart phone. Same thing. And this will boot up the first time, like practically like what it looks like when you boot up your your phone the first time. Which I don't mean it looks the same, but it'll act the same. Like it'll take forever. I remember the first time I did this, I thought something was screwed up. I seriously, I never thought I would have to wait so long. You know, the, the Atrix by itself already takes a long time on this dual core screen anyway, but. When, you, when it sits on a stool screen, core screen forever, it's just, uh, it's like, what the hell? You usually can tell that you're doing good if you get past the dual core screen. If you get, if you get the second bootloader screen, which, depending on the ROM, is either going to be the stock one that says, you know, Motorola, or it might, like this one, it's, this is supposedly the Transformers one, I don't know, it looks more like Tron to me, but, so, once you get this screen, this is when it's actually booting past the bootloader into the OS and you just wait don't do anything and, and because it takes so long this is also a very good, good time to remember that you should make sure you have a very very close to full battery you know if you t do this with like five percent battery you know you could easily kill the battery just while you're while you're running the one of the ROM upgrade and at that point, you know, there's obviously there's gonna be ways around it, but that would 
be an easy way to at least soft brick a phone is to have a half of a ROM on the on the partition. So it's pretty close. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. So if I if I knew how I would make a bootloader that actually had a progress bar, but instead, look at this. Good. Okay. There we go.